Hello and welcome to Charlotte Sketches, where Charlotte Sketches. This is Neo Yokio. I'm not really sure what to say about Neo Yokio. <sighs> I've recorded so much audio for just this rant, trying to figure out what to say. And for the life of me, I, ke I keep cutting stuff out. I keep cutting things out that I have no idea how to fit in because there's just, it's so all over the place. It's like, I'm a mosquito in a nudist colony and I don't know where to begin. There's just too much going on. The one great thing about Neo Yokio is that it is a gold mine for memes. That's the one thing that we can take away from this, is that all of the one-liners that we have from this, whether they are intentional or not, whether the writers were like, ah yes, this will be hilarious, this, this will be memeing forever, the Toblerone meme will go down in history, whether they anticipated that or not, which I have a thinking suspicion they did not, if that's what we can glean from Neo Yokio, it could be a good thing. It could be like, yeah, this, this could go down in the uh, entertainment history books as that time America tried something different, and it was... eh. There's no real message to Neo Yokio. There's no, um... Like, people are saying it's like an anti-capitalist, you know, criticism. It's really not. Like, they could have made it a criticism of capitalism and made the main character this terrible, terrible, like, snarky individual. Similar to, like, Grunkle Stan. I would love Neo Yokio if Kaz Khan had the personality of Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls or maybe Rick from Rick and Morty. That would be the funniest show ever. He's just a snobby rich guy who walks around and just takes the piss out of everybody. That would be hilarious. I would watch that show. But, I don't know, Kaz is kind of very vanilla. Like, in, in a very disappointing way, because I wanted Neo Yokio to be horrible. I wanted it to be the worst thing ever. I wanted it to be literally the anime equivalent of The Room. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for Kaz Wiseau to come out of nowhere and just pull off this beautiful aberration of nature, this abomination, this sin against God in animation form, and I wanted to love every second of it because of how horrible it was. But it wasn't that. It was so... Eh. Just nothing. I couldn't glean anything from this show that I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's really hilarious. I think I'm, I'll quote that. I'll, I'll be, I'll be making jokes about that forever. But it was not. And I think that's the saddest part. And maybe the internet ruined it for me. Maybe it's because I was sitting there looking at reviews of the show and everyone was like, oh, it's so bad, it's good. Oh, it's, it's a, it's a, a work of art for how terrible it is. But it really wasn't. It's like when you hype up a movie that's supposed to be really, really good, and then you're like, and then you go to see it, and you're like, I mean, it was, it was good, but it, it was like just okay. Like that's what Neo Yokio was for me. Was when I watched it, I was hoping to cringe. I was anticipating my spine receding inward into my torso with how hard I cringed to the point where I'd injure myself from how much I wanted to laugh at how bad it was, and that didn't happen. It was just bad. Not terrible. Not horrible. Just mediocre. And that's the saddest part, I think. Because there's so much potential for it to be unbearably horrible. But they don't commit to it. I think the only saving grace of the show is... <laughs> it's, it's whenever uh, my personal favorite character, Archangelo, is on screen. And this man has no idea how homosexual he is. And I don't mean like, oh, he's gay and that's derogatory. No, I mean like he doesn't realize that he's gay. He doesn't realize that he has such a hard on for the main character. And I think if they took advantage of that, that would make the show so much funnier. Because all he does is make sassy comments to and about the main character. This boy is obsessed. And then Kaz just, is just like, oh man, he's really annoying. I can't stand that guy. Darn Ar Archangelo. It, Archangelo is just this beautiful abomination of nature where like Draco Malfoy and Aoyama from Hiro Aka had a baby and they had a gay love child. And that's what he is. He is the aberration bastard love child of Draco Malfoy and Aoyama. 
And he's not used nearly as well as he should be. There are so many opportunities that could have been used to fix this with just Archangelo. Like, if, if it was just about the rival between Kaz and him, the entire story, at least then there would have been a huge plot point that I could have held onto. And the passive-aggressive nature of their relationship would have been hilarious. But they didn't do that. They could have made it about exorcisms, and they could have had Helena, the female protagonist, who gets um, possessed. They could have had her continuously possessed, you know, throughout the show, because she was more entertaining that way. As opposed to when she's not possessed anymore, to which she becomes just this disaffected young teenager who's like, there's so much injustice in the world, and oh man, materialism sucks, but, you know, forget about using all of my wealth and ability to actually make a change in the world. I'm just going to, you know, lock myself in my room and do nothing for the rest of my life. Thanks, guys. There's just... there's... The reason there's so much to talk about the show is because there's nothing to talk about the show. It's because it's so mismanaged and broken up that it doesn't really give you any sort of uh, barriers on what you can talk about the show. You could comment on all of the stupid references to all the different clothing that they wear, which does not add anything to the plot. You could comment on all of the different product placements that they have in there, of which the Toblerone is the only one that matters. <laughs> um, you could talk about the weird references to Hollywood with like the southern accent character who I guess is supposed to be like a Miley Cyrus ripoff, but uh, that really does not matter. You could talk about the creepy sort of fetishization of Hollywood and famous people as seen by the Helenas, or what was it, the Hellenistas? What is it? The Hellenites, I don't know. <laughs> um, the Hellenists, that's it. And how they basically worship Helena, who's just like a fashion blogger. You could talk about that, but that really doesn't matter to the plot at all. Nothing matters to the plot because there's no plot. The Toblerone is the main character, is what I'm trying to get at. We might as well just say, Toblerone, what are we going to do next? And then the Toblerone, if it were to respond, would be the most funny and interesting thing that would happen in the entire series, because nothing happens. I feel like if the show wants to, to continue for a season two, here's what it has to do. One, has to bring back the Toblerone. Two, they need to use Archangelo a lot more. And three, they need to make Kaz meaner. And I, I, I don't say that because I want him to just be a jerk for no reason. I mean, they need to make the show bad. Like, really bad. The so bad it's good type level. Because they've already ruined their chances of making it good. They can't make it better. They've already botched that. There's no possible way to make the show genuinely good. So what they have to do is they have to fully commit. They have to jump into the pool. They have to fully submerge themselves in this and be like, yes, we are going to make our reputation as the Western anime type show with pink haired Jaden Smith that has fully committed to becoming a living meme. And unless they do that, the next season's just gonna be meh. Just like this one. And I don't want that. I want it to be genuinely terrible. I want it to suck. I want to cringe when I watch it. And I want to laugh about it later with my friends. And you know what? I might watch it again. I might watch it multiple times with my friends, and then we'll make references to it. I'll make prints for Neo Yokio. Just memes at conventions and sell them. Because how great would that be? To have Neo Yokio be the running joke about Western anime. How awesome would that be? But it's not gonna work unless they fully commit to it. Which I'm afraid that they won't, because I'm afraid that Jaden Smith might take himself a little too seriously. Not to say that I've visited his Twitter page, but not to say that I haven't. I don't know. It has so much potential to be horrible, and I want that for it. I want that for this show. Because that's the only way it's gonna get saved. It needs to have a come to Jesus moment. It needs to acknowledge what it is, repent for its sins, and then fully embrace how terrible it is. And be like, you know what? We're trash but we're going to be the most talked about trash. I like the idea of Neo Yokio existing. I like the idea of this 
terrible meme of an anime existing and I want it to exist and I want it to do well but I want it to exist and do well because it's that terrible and not because it's just mediocre. I want it to be the Tommy Wiseau anime. I want Jaden Smith to be intimately involved in every decision made about Neo Yokio. I want I want Neo Yokio to be Jaden Smith's baby. I want him to foster its creativity and I want him to fully embrace being the father of this poor child that he has brought into this world. Please Jaden Smith, please save Neo Yokio by making it terrible. Because right now it's just eh. Right now it's just okay. And I think we can do worse. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. If you liked what I had to say about Neo Yokio, or if you had some differing opinions on Neo Yokio and would like to share them, I'd love to check it out in the comments section. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and put in any suggestions for future videos that you might want to hear from me. I'd love to get your feedback. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day.